Hi guys, the other day I made this Mexican salad with goat cheese and spicy pecans and it was just incredible. I think it was one of the nicest salads I've ever had. The saltiness of the goat's cheese was really nice with the sweetness of the nuts and the sharpness of the pomegranate and loads of herby freshness and it was just fantastic. It was really, really good. Start off with a dry frying pan to toast your whole spices. Place it over a high heat and add a teaspoon of cumin seeds, followed by just three whole cloves half a teaspoon of coriander seeds, and if you have them, eight allspice berries. I didn't, so later I just added some allspice powder, and just toss them about for just about a minute, a minute and a half maybe, until they become really, really aromatic and toasty. Then take them off the heat and transfer them to a pestle and mortar or a spice grinder. Then just start to bash them up until they're about as fine as you can get them. Now I'm adding half a teaspoon of ground allspice to make up for the berries that I didn't add to the frying pan. Then half a teaspoon of sweet pimenton or smoked paprika. A generous pinch of cayenne pepper or as much as you like. About half a teaspoon of sea salt flakes. A tablespoon of castor sugar or that's three teaspoons. Mix all of those up really well and add about 20 milliliters of good extra virgin olive oil. That's a teaspoon and a tablespoon. Mix that in as well to form a really nice, beautiful, dark, sweet and spicy paste. Now pile in 100 grams of pecan nuts and stir them up with a teaspoon to make sure they're all nicely coated in that spicy paste. But try your best not to break any. Now take a baking tray, line it with parchment and pour the nuts onto it and spread them out into an even single layer. Now transfer them to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. In the meantime, take one head of fresh romaine lettuce and just slice it really, really thickly, all the way down to its really bitter heart, which you can discard or plant. Then gather it all up to wash and dry it really, really well. Once it's washed and dried, it should then look like this, really, really nice and fresh, so just set it aside. Now take a bowl to collect the seeds from your pomegranate. I've got quite a big one here. The normal recommended way of getting seeds out of a pomegranate is if you have it horizontally and then bash each half on the domed side so that the seeds just fall out. But that never really works for me. I'm always leaving loads of them inside there. So this is how I do it. I cut it into vertical quarters, saving any juice that runs out of it to make the dressing. Then I break each quarter in half with my hands and carefully pop out each seed with my thumbs, being careful not to add any of that white pith you can see the pomegranate seeds form together in kind of layers or sheets within the pomegranate. So if you break away the surrounding white pith, it'll make it a lot easier to just pop them all out. Unless you're super fast doing this, you will have to stop to take your nuts out of the oven, otherwise they will burn. Once you've taken out all the seeds, just set them aside until you're assembling the salad. Now take a small measuring jug to make the dressing and add about 70 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil about two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, a good pinch of sea salt flakes. Now take your pomegranate seeds and carefully pour all the juice from them into the dressing. Now just stir it all up to combine and set aside. Now take a small bunch of fresh chives and finely chop them, just enough to give you about two tablespoons. Then add them into the lettuce. Now the recipe calls for a small bunch of fresh basil, but I couldn't find any in the shop, so instead I'm using some fresh mint from the garden. I know they taste differently, but I was hoping that the sweetness of the mint would kind of replace the sweet basil, and I think it actually works really well. Whichever you use though, just coarsely chop it and add it to the lettuce. This can all be done in advance if you like. Just right before serving, pile in all those pomegranate seeds onto your lettuce followed by those sweet and spicy pecans which have been cooling. Don't forget to add in all the gritty sugary spices as well, that's pure flavour. If you're making these in advance, they can be stored in an airtight container for a few days before serving. Now give the dressing another good stir before you add the very most of it to the salad, probably around three quarters of it. Then I tried to toss up the salad with these tongs, but that worked really, really badly, so I gave it up and just used my hands. Keep tossing it until all the leaves are nicely slicked with dressing and the pomegranate seeds, nuts and herbs are nicely distributed throughout the salad. Then take a 100 gram wheel of chevre goat's cheese and just break it up and crumble it into the salad. Then drizzle over the last little smidge of dressing, really just so you can kind of see it, and serve it up. 
This salad really was so delicious, really refreshing, but salty and spicy too. Sweet and tart and just so much flavor. Really, really delicious and I hope you give it a go. Thanks a million for watching guys. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You can check me out on social media if you like. You'll find all the links to my accounts in the description, as well as the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.